Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you one of the very frequently required calculation the running total as to how to create it using a feature which is Power BI quick measure. So usually for doing a running total calculation you would really need to write the the tax calculation. Uh, not so easy than not so complex. It's like a relatively complex calculation uh, and you need to know the DAX function and all. But what Power BI has done, they have basically created the frequently used measures and provided in the Power BI quick measure. So today I'm showing you the running total calculation as to how you can create it very easily. And before I show you, just a quick information that this sheet where I am keeping uh, the record of all of my Power BI video is present in the description so that you can easily uh, use this. Also, you can search uh, by any particular topic that you are looking for within the Power BI. So I will continue updating this sheet. So make sure you add this in your bookmarks. So whenever you need anything related to the Power BI it will be available here as and when I will be updating it, you will have the most updated sheet in your bookmarks. And you can quickly jump to a Power BI tutorial using the link here. Okay, so now let's move ahead and see it in Power BI. So here we are within the Power BI. And in the Power BI, what we have is a very simple uh, chart. As you can see, it's the clustered column chart. And I'm using the very common, the sales orders or superstore sales data set. It is present um, in the folder location which I usually share in my videos so you can find it from there and what I'm using is the order date as you can see and I'm using the month only the month you can use any other category whatever you want for example subcategory is the one of the other particular or uh, very common category that I use to show the example similarly uh, you can show any other like for example country or maybe the city, any category that you want on the x-axis, you can use it. I am showing it right now, the month for this example. So what do I want is we want a running total. So we have, for example, 94,000 over here. Now we have 59,000. So close to uh, $150,000 is what we want to show over here in this category, right? So how can we show that in a continuous way? Well, what we need to do is we need to come over here in the value section where we have the sales measure which I have taken from here. When I expand this by clicking there on that drop down icon, first thing what I see at the bottom is the new quick measure. So if I click on new quick measure, it shows me the calculation option, a drop down, right? So if I open this, you will see a lot of categories, right? And uh, one of the category what we want is the running total. But as you can see, they have a heading like average heading, average per category, or like the filters, or like the time intelligence, the mathematical operation, text. All of this I will show you in a specific example that is relevant for that particular calculation, maybe in the future videos. But for now, what I will just select is the running total. When I select the running total, what you find is the base value is the sum of sales because from there we have created the quick measure by taking it as a base. Field what we want is the order date. However, you can see that you have an option by which you can clear this and choose any other field from here. For example, you want to show the running total, I don't know, maybe by any other category like a subcategory, for example. But for now, for the sake of simplicity and which is relevant for this particular example is we will continue using the order month. And the direction is ascending is what we want. We can also choose the descending, but for now I will just go with the default option and we'll click it OK. So once we click OK, you see that an operation is happening and over here you will see that a relatively complex calculation is being created for you. So don't worry, you don't have to really do anything over here. You just had to do these couple of clicks and this sales running total is present over here. So if I just click on this, let's say, this will basically remove that uh, DAX calculation. 
but if you want to see the tax calculation again you can come over here and click it and it will show you the running calculation okay so now what do you have is you will see that it is starting at the same value this is the running total the dark blue is what you have as the running total and then for the second one now what this bar is showing you is this plus this similarly the third bar over here which is 3.59 million is showing you this plus this plus this so that's what it is coming here in all of these bars which is showing you the running total running total is very important metric which most mostly i would say in almost every second or third report you would see that a running total is being uh, created just to understand how you know we are uh, month on month quarter on quarter we are adding up more and more to our business or to our expenses and things like uh, you know for those metrics so if you have a need you don't have to really write that calcul complex calculation which i showed you over here you just have to do a couple of clicks by coming over here on this calculation and click on the new quick measure and do those operation also if you want you can remove this by clicking cross so that way you only have the running total calculation so that's mainly i wanted to show you in this video about how you can very very quickly create a running calculation it's like in just a couple of minutes you have your chart ready otherwise historically when this was not available you had to write a lot of uh, dex formulas to achieve this with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic